Hello, have you had a good day? I thought we would do some healing today under my beautiful, beautiful bonsai. Now I've had this for about 20 years, it is very old. I got it from an old lady. And it's just a wonderful energy in this space. So just imagine grounding this beautiful ficus. And this would have been the tree that the Buddha would have sat beneath, also called a bow. Just imagine sitting at the base of this beautiful tree and grounding yourself with its energy. Breathe down to your feet. And feel your golden roots pushing out of the chakras, the bottom of your feet, merging with this beautiful, beautiful bonsai. And some of those roots continue down beneath you. root into some of the crystal and mineral veins of the inner earth. Whatever colours you are seeing will be right for you at this moment. Now just take a breath in and breathe out any anguish any stress, any pain. And at the pit of your stomach is a flame, a gorgeous, bright, yellow, gold flame. Like these daffodils, your God spark. And grow that flame out in all directions until it encompasses the whole of your auric field and an inch or two around that so it creates a barrier and let's call in your spirit guides, your guardian and healing angels, any ancestors, and the soul group. And we ask that this healing work within all who need it in your monad, your soul group. We say the monad mantra, I am the soul, I am the light divine, I am love, I am will, I am fixed design, I am the monad. I am the light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. And we draw the Tibetan Daikumyo, 
the master symbol for angelic Reiki and many other different types around the world. Breathe in as the silvery platinum light disintegrates from this fire letter all throughout your aura, throughout your mind, throughout your body and throughout your spirit. Overlighting any issues that you may need to gain harmony and mastery with. We ask for the white flame of ascension to illuminate this healing now and to help everybody watching as we draw the distant healing symbol, the Honcha. Tse Shon. Honcha Tse Shon. Honcha Tse Shon. Now I feel we need to be working at the bottom, from the bottom upwards. And I'm just going to generally sweep your aura. I will also work on chakras and I'm going to use the tools which are on my desk. And they're all white crystals, white seashells, very high vibration. First of all, we are going to take this Lemurian Quartz. A cleansing crystal because it is smoky, Lemurian Quartz. It's not quite, quite white. If I hold up a white one. So let's start combing down your aura, teasing it. Getting any little nicks and threads, any cores that are ready to be removed. We're going to ask Saint Germain and the angels of the violet fire and the violet flame to activate that around you and through you. Cleansing, clearing, removing. We draw in the Seihei Ki. Rather a wonky one, but it is still say hey key. <sighs> say hey key. So any little annoyances, any arguments, any disagreements, anything that hurt you. Anything you can't stop thinking about that is anxiety ridden. You can send it out of the soles of your feet through your roots into that amethyst or quartz. I can't remember what we rooted into. And I'm now sweeping this down your back into some of the roots of this tree, whoops. Let me move little Buddha out of the way. Put him right there so he looks down on you, bringing peace. So we continue down the back. Projecting the Honchard Zeshoten. 
into things that have happened already. Also, asking that symbol which is devoid of space and time. Asking that symbol to be projected into the future. As we now use this other one. And this one might feel quite different, getting all the hard to reach. Hard to reach bits. Let's just separate anything. The flames should be disintegrating it as well. Now behind you, down your back, okay. and away from your body. down the front line. Not forgetting the corners. <laughs> now let's just fill with some light for a minute. Asking for the white flame of ascension to be activated. There, the energy shifted coming out of my hands now, so it's been channeled to you. And just close your eyes and imagine now that a beautiful crystal pyramid materializes in front of you, spinning. It is so big that it encompasses all of your vision. It spins up above you. And then spins down just above you. Look at the apex in the middle. As it rises again, spinning, clearing any last remnants away. Now let's do that again. And release. That's right. into the violet flame. Now gentle, gentle pearlescent energies of light and love and laughter. Understanding knowledge, intelligence. Feel your energy being drawn up rising, rising your level so that you can start to hear those messages from your guides, from your ancestors, from your higher self, your angels as well, down into your chakras and your psyche. 
Let's just clear out that third eye. Let's use a different smoky quartz this time. Let's hold it a few inches away and I'm going to spiral it backwards and out. That's right. Again. Teasing that energy. Now the back. Locating that third eye, you can probably feel it now, and removing. Visualizing Sehe Ki, asking one of the angels to come forward. One of your healing angels. Okay. Now let's send some healing in to the third eye. Beautiful blue and white light, intelligence, discerning, knowledge. Trust, knowing yourself. Gnosis, that would be, wouldn't it, gnosis. And we draw a choke ray. Choke ray. Choke ray. Amplifying it, yet protecting it. We can draw it around you as well. Choke ray. Choke ray. Choke ray. And relax. Deeper and deeper. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Your angel wants to stand in and place its hand on your shoulders. Just there. Soothing the neck round here. So you might want to just roll it and stretch it a little bit as we move down to that throat chakra. We spiral and tease. Pulling out some of that unexpressed emotion. Seiheiki. Let's do a little hum. Mm. And some wonderful, refreshing angel aura quartz, blue and pink energy into that throat. Play with a bit of colour. Oh, 
Breathe out. So that humming that I did, that little bit of chanting, was actually the Druid Arwen. And that means energy. Nuefri, creativity. And all of that is going into that throat, opening it up, elevating it, raising its vibration, helping you sing your song, say your speech, shout your sacredness to the world. Asking Archangel Gabriel to activate everybody's throat, to help them to listen, to help them to speak, to help them to communicate their joy, their laughter, their song and their tears if needed to the world, to express themselves with the highest vibration they can, with love and laughter and light. Cho. Cho Kore Now where do the angels want to go next so far? down to the heart. Perhaps they are going in a line today. Normally the angels jump around all over the chakra show. Okay, take your consciousness down into that heart space. How is it feeling? How are you feeling today? Happy, sad, joyful, needy, and I don't mean needy in a derogatory way. We all need things sometimes. Let's draw in the cleansing symbol, the Say Hey Key. Say Hey Key. Say Hey Key. And clear, and clear, and clear. Where's our Lemurian crystal? Clear, clear, clear. Spiralling out. Spiralling out the other side. Male and female lines. Into your timeline and down your ancestral timeline and down your karmic timeline. I'll do the whole chakras whilst I remember. We draw in a symbol called Zonar. Flat hand, I think, for this symbol today. You may notice that sometimes I have my hands closed and some to make a pen Sometimes flat. Zonar, a Z and an infinity symbol. 
So now. Pulling this one now, actually, some hard to reach places. Gonna reach for something softer than this in a minute. Archangel Gabriel, please raise your torch and sever any cords, any ties, not of the Creator's desire, that are in, through, around, about, above, below, within and without. Angels of the violet fire, angels of the violet fire, angels of the violet fire. Take any debris that Gabrielle is bringing to thee and transmute, transmute any cords, any ties that are not of the creators desire that are in, through, around, about, above, below, within and without. Down your back line. Saint Germain, Saint Germain, Saint Germain. We invoke your sweet name. Transmute with the violet fire. Any cords, any ties that are not of the creator's desire. That are in, through, around, about, above, below, within and without. Breath in and breathe. So activate the violet flame. Right through that heart, front to back. Diameter of the aura, layer of the aura that belongs to the heart chakra. And relax. I think we will... Hmm. I'm going to use this because it has amazing rainbow light. This is a nautilus fossil. It is the master symbol for oceanic Reiki. And it's predominantly greens and pinks. So I'm gonna shine that light in. I'm gonna ask Gabriel to assist it getting right into the hard to reach places. Trying not to block the light so that you can see it perfectly. Now I'm gonna draw a Nautilus the master symbol for oceanic Reiki. Nautilus. Nautilus. Filling up your heart space with strength. This is one 
I think this is the only creature to have survived five mass extinctions on the earth. And that is because its shell and its symmetry is one of strength. Each number, I think, is divisible plus two into the next. I'm useless at maths. But the result is a shell that can have gas pumped into its little chasms inside it. And it can either float to the surface when it's relatively safe, although they're still deep swimmers, and it can travel down to the depths and the pressure of the water will not crush its shell. So this is a symbol of mastery, a symbol of strength. And we send that, its vibrant colours, into your heart centre now, so that you are vibrant and you have strength. sacred geometry, the Fibonacci, the golden mean, the golden ratio. Seal that in. The chokre. 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 Take your consciousness down to your solar plexus. And we ask Gabriel to draw in the say, hey, key. Say, hey, key. Say, hey, key. Again. We fracture that energy. This is how I imagine it happening. And we can get a grip on that lethargy, that boredom, that tiredness, that drained feeling. Too close. Sorry, my fingers were too close. And I think we are going to use this. Look, has it got an amazing rainbow on the underneath and I've never seen that before. So we are going to use that in a minute to shine light in. But I want you right now to look at the apex point. If I get it straight on, exactly. And tease that energy out of your solar plexus. a good long pull. You can feel a tugging. Again, Gabrielle assisting, the violet flame still going, cleansing that spiritual drudgery, that heavy chi. Okay, now where's the rainbow? Can't find it now, there we go. We shine that rainbow light in. All of those multicolours bursts of light. It's like a spirit. Is this a spirit of the crystal that people talk about? Isn't that interesting? I've never seen one. Before I have actually, I have seen a phoenix in my crystal ball. I'll show you in a minute. But that looks like a spirit, doesn't it? A little spirit, a crystal spirit. We ask for vitality to be sent into the viewer. I'm just going to place this little crystal being down here underneath you. 
going to radiate some strengthening angelic Reiki in some beautiful golden lights. Look at these. Here we go. Let's use one of let's use one of those. Wow. Narcissus and they smell delightful. So these aren't out in England, but they're out. Well, they are out in England in the farms down near the Silly Isles near Cornwall. And at this time of year, they sell bunches for a dollar a pound in the supermarkets. And we just pop them in our baskets, always having these beautiful cheap narcissi for a few weeks as we enter into spring and light. Oh, it smells absolutely beautiful. Thank you, flowers, for radiating your light, your life, your joy, your beauty into the viewers. And soon those honeybees will be out collecting that little, those little bursts of life, those little seeds, the pollen. Brush the rest of your aura. I said we were staying white today, but I couldn't resist the narcissi. Let's go over the head and down the back. And underneath you. And then we'll pop you back here to enjoy your life in our little healing room, in the womb room. Nice and red. Hara next, so in between the solar plexus and the sacral, this is where the navel is. This one just needs grounding a little bit actually, and I'm starting to ground a lot of people from this chakra. So imagine a two-dimensional, three-dimensional sphere, I'm not sure in my dimensions, of yin and yang light. Circling, I can't do the opposite directions because I'm not very ambidextrous. There we go. Circling in opposite ways, keeping you in balance. Feel this tree that you're sitting against. Feel its energy holding you. The space that it creates, the energy that it emits, creates the vesica Pisces. Keeping you balanced. Parting that balance now into this orangey red energy center. That's how the Chinese depict the navel chakra, the hara chakra. It may have other names as well. We in Tai Chi would be calling it the Lower Dantian. It is not quite where the sacral is, but it's very close. Some books, I think, say between the solar plexus and the sacral. I feel it's between the sacral and the root. So the angels have jumped around a little bit. But I've expected them to. <laughs> And now we've spoken about the sacral. The sacral is now being healed. We're going to use the shell for this, the abalone shell. And abalone shells are amazing. And I discovered this by accident as I was sitting in front of one. It works on an anti-clockwise spiral, so it cleanses. You can pull out moving it this way and then 
we can change the intention we can also scoop so they can be scooped through the auric layers so let's do that behind you so you're focusing now down at the lower lumbar your lower back hip area ask to remove any discomfort any pain any heavy energy we can think of the say hey key symbol ask Gabrielle to draw that in now down your tailbone your backside okay And now we shine the light in, so we reverse, but we just ask it to shine. Shine. Shine its light into that sacral, into those dark spaces. We are just going to obliterate this chi that is left now with light. We'll ask Saint Germain and the angels just to activate that violet flame. Disintegrate anything that is in there, transform it, transmute it. As the positive light now floods in from the shell, we ask Gabrielle for the white flame of Ascension to be sent in as well. so that you can evolve in your emotions in a better way for you and those around you when it is appropriate. Water healing. Feel that spiraling now in your abdomen. Thinking of the waterworks, thinking of the reproductive system. We ask for any blockages to be removed and disintegrated. For those trying to conceive. And we also ask for pain relief for those who have problems in these areas bone, muscle, gynecological, prostate, sending in the strength and the light and the forgiveness that pearlescent energy emits, as well as love. Okay, breathe out, you're doing really well. This is quite a Ooh, difficult high vibrational healing. I haven't planned this at all. Just to use the white tools on the table. Okay. Chokere. Chokere around. Chokurei. And breathe out. Okay. Now down to your root chakra, down to the Mulhadara. So I'm going to have a hand. Let me put a crystal here first. So we'll use our good old smoky quartz. So I'm going to put a hand on your shoulder. And I am now spiraling in a downward motion. Any negative energy, any stagnant energy, any digestive problems, any irritable bowel problems, any worries about your home, your job, your money. 
spiraling those worries down into Gaia, into Mother Earth, into even the roots of this tree, she can cope with it. Trees are there for a myriad of reasons. I want you to start imagining beautiful loam. And when I say loam, I mean soil. Beautiful, nourishing soil. Imagine it in your hands. Smell it after it has rained. Those good, earthy, solid images. I'm now going to turn this crystal around. And I'm going to spiral up into you. Energies from Gaia, Mother Earth, the Divine Feminine, the Sophia, our home, our planet, the biome. Breathe out know that she will support you. Trust in her. Do whatever you can do to be kind to her. And feel her beautiful red light opening and activating that energy center as we now draw the chakra in. Chokere. And chokere. So we are now going to work on the transpersonal chakras and these are the ones above and below. So I'm just going to have to move back a little bit here. We're going to use this geode. This is a pophalite. Very high vibration. What I'm going to do is I want you to think to about four meters below your feet. And I want you to think about four meters above your head at the earth gateway and the stellar gateway. I'm going to tease any energy out. Stretching you. Okay. Clearing the soul star and clearing the earth star. Clearing the ultra major behind you, around about where your cranium is. And then again, drawing that out, stretching you and shining this beautiful apophyllite. Helping to clear confusion, that's what apophyllite does, as well as elevates it, a very angelic and high vibrational being. This crystal.
polish your aura with it. Okay, I just scan you, sensing for any lumps and bumps, there's a little bit to do, just up at the third eye. We ask that this healing be received and we ask that those watching who need to fall asleep can start to drop off when I count in a minute. We would like to thank Archangel Gabriel, the angels of the violet fire and the violet flame. We would like to thank the Reiki, the crystals, the monad, the soul group, the ancestors, and any ascended masters. We thank them for holding space and the flowers, of course, the daffodil. We thank them for holding space. And we thank Gaia, our beautiful mother. And I want you now just to breathe in and breathe down into your feet, down into your roots, feel the tree behind you, the chair that you sit against. And we ask that you have beautiful dreams as we activate this healing to continue for the next 24 hours and for it to be received at safe times for you. Now, We're going to do a countdown. So that if you need to turn it off before the advert, you can do that. Or if you need to fall asleep, you will relax deeper with each number. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you for watching and peace be with you and all around you. Bye bye.